This time, so like in this video, we're looking at specialization in animal cells. So this includes nerve cells, muscle cells, sperm cells, and fat cells. So first of all, we will look at nerve cells. As nerve cells are specialized to carry around electrical impulses and to provide a rapid communication system between different parts of the body to ensure that they are suitable for their role. So this means that they have to have a number of things. So for example, lots of dendrites are needed to ensure that they can make connections to other nerve cells. And dendrites are a nerve cell that ensures the electrochemical stimulation. They also include an axon, and this is where impulses are conducted from the cell body to other cells, and these axons are normally extremely long, and the nerve endings or synapses are adapted to pass the impulses to other cells, and they include many mitochondria to provide it with the energy required, as obviously mitochondria can give something energy because this is where respiration takes place. Next one to look at is muscle cells. As muscle cells are specialized cells that can contract and relax. And these work together in tissues called muscles and they ensure that vertebrates can move on land or water or sometimes fly. So smooth muscle cells help the digestive system and they contract to squeeze the food out the gut. So muscle cells are also specialized and this means that they have to have a number of different things as well. So they contain special proteins that slide over each other, which means that the fibers contract. They also need a lot of energy and this means they have two things. So firstly, as we saw in the nerve cells, they contain many mitochondria to transfer the energy needed. And this is because a lot of energy is required to allow the cells to contract and to relax. They can also store glycogen, which can be broken down in cellular respiration to transfer more energy. Next one to look at is sperm cells. And sperm cells need to be able to move through water to the egg before breaking into the egg. So this means that a sperm cell has long tail whips, which means that it can travel successfully. Again, it also contains a lot of mitochondria to provide the cell with a lot of energy. And the acrosome, which is at the top of the sperm cell, contains enzymes so that it can break down the egg. Sperm cells also have a large nucleus which can hold the genetic information. And finally, if we look at fat cells, now when you eat more food than you need, the fat cells store the extra fat. Now the main adaptations of fat cells is that they have a small amount of cytoplasm and a large amount of fat, as you would maybe imagine. They also have very few mitochondria, and this is because they do not need a lot of energy. So whereas we've seen with the nerve cells, the muscle cells, and the sperm cells, there's a lot of mitochondria, that's because they need a lot of energy. Fat cells do not require this energy, so that means that they do not need a lot of mitochondria. And they can expand, and that means that they can fill with more fat. So thank you for watching this video, and see you soon. Bye.